My name is Ian McQuinney. Uh, I live on Dryland, Barakru, in uh, Gearloch and Western Ross. I've been a fisherman now for 31 years. Uh, I now fish uh, sustainably for prawns, crabs, squat lobsters, velvet crabs, uh, any sort of shellfish like that. Yeah. We also run shellfish safaris. We we'll take people out and show them uh, how we catch uh, the shellfish. Uh, that's become increasingly popular over the years. Basically, people are a lot more aware of where their food comes from and that kind of thing. You know, you can't get more organic really than something that's been crawling about in the seabed and then it's pulled up that morning or that afternoon. And then you can take it home half an hour later and keep it and eat it. You know, it's just a fantastic way of uh, uh, getting your food, yeah. And it's, you know, the purest way, the most natural way. Yeah. I think farmers' markets are great. It's a win win situation for the customer and for the producer like me because I get more money for my stuff but the customer actually gets a far better product at a far cheaper price because there's no middleman involved. Most of the boats that fish out of Gearloch now are dedicated creel fishing boats. Yeah, It's only in the west coast of Scotland we actually fish for langoustines with creels. For the last 15 odd years we have been throwing back all the small prawns, all the buried ones, the ones that have females with eggs on them and we've also uh, set limits to the amount of creels we put out and the number of days we fish as well. Yeah. My family have been fishing from dryland for hundreds of years now, fishing or fish curing. Probably up until 1975, there were still fish being caught here in large quantities, but unfortunately, probably due to trawling activities, uh, there's lots of fish land here, and then they went into rapid decline. I mean, you can blame technology for a lot of things, but just dragging a net along behind the boat or and catching anything that's in its way is not a really a very uh, good way of fishing really. Yeah. I think most people or most fishermen would go along with closed areas as long as everyone's stuck to it. But it's not going to work on a you're not allowed to do it because that's not working just now. I, I think you've got to have some sort of protection in there that if you actually do something wrong, knowingly do something wrong, you get your license taken off you or you get such a fine that you know you you aren't going to do it again living on the west coast is a there's no doubt about it is a hard a hard life but uh no it's, it's good life all you need is a couple of weeks of good weather and you forget about the long winters and it's a good place to bring up kids yeah and they enjoy it here yeah and hopefully there's you know a, a future uh, and hopefully there'll be a f fish, uh, fishing future not just for my girls but for young people about here, yeah, I want to get into it.